everyone. We are going to do a pour tonight that is inspired by Molly's artistry. And she uses a colander to create these amazing effects that look like a kaleidoscope. It looks absolutely magical. And so I'm going to see whether or not the colander type piece of equipment that I've got will give a beautiful effect. So I went to an op shop the other day and found this one. So I can't, I haven't seen to be able to find one like she uses specifically. Uh, but live chat. There we go. Um, I found this and I thought with all those holes in the bottom, if I still poured the paint on the inside and then lifted it slowly, would it still have that effect? We will find out. So I'll just move that aside. And this canvas is a 12 by 12 inch. And I've already put tape on the back and push pins to keep it up off the table. So I'll move that aside now. And we have a cup because we're going to create a dirty cup. So that is where the paints all go in the cup together. And I'm going to use, I have very little paint left in all these greens. So I'm going to use those. I have a brown and a gold. And there will be some of my white, which is the Spring brand house paint. Hi, Brady Patty. How are you going? Good morning. And alrighty. So there's not not going to be any silicon in this pour because if cells erupted through this pattern, it would totally destroy it. So when I am torching, it will be purely to clear away any air bubbles. Hi Jenny, how's the weather in Sydney? So I'll pop some white in the bottom first. That is just enough to cover the bottom because I don't want to put too much. And then, let's go crazy, crazy, crazy. Nice. Not too cold. That's awesome. That's how I feel at the moment up here. So. All right. So just going to be squirting them in. Anik, Anik, Anik. And look, hello to you, welcome, Annika. Annika, perhaps, there's my mum, she's still here visiting, yeah, so varying greens together there, change it up now and put a dash of gold. Don't want to use too much too much of the metallic because it can take over. So go with this lime green now. Sit that one on its side for the next. Let it drain down a moment. So a bit of brown. I 
I think the gold that may show up now right next to the brown because I'll add a bit more gold now will look awesome da -da -da -da. Add that in. So if I am squeezing, but at the same time, sort of trying to layer it now. So I may just add some more white. Oop, <laughs> as it plops through. All good. A little bit of gold and I just figured I might as well use up all these greens they will all go nicely together is anybody that is here favorite color green it's my favorite color Probably about it for that one. A little squiggle of more gold. And brown. And I think that'll be it for the cup. Okay. Grandma. Green? Not so much, but you love to watch. <laughs> Well, good morning to you. Thank you for stopping in. And just move the colours out of the way. Bring this in. So I'm thinking, because this is different to the colander that is has been used for these pores, um, that I may just put a white down first. Whoop. Because I'm not watching. And spread that out. Holly's art. Hello to you. How is Canada? Oh my gosh, did you have that? You had some snow recently, didn't you? don't have a favorite <laughs> so it depends on your mood Brady Patty all right so I'm almost done with this Making sure I've got the corners. Yeah. <laughs> Rain in just a bit. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm, I'm Holly. I am planning on one year experiencing, whenever that may be, a white Christmas. All right, that's looking good. I will bring that into the center. I wasn't going to, but I will now. I just decided. So that's how the story goes. Right. Okay. Evening, Birdie Beatty. Beetle. I can't see that low. <laughs> You're over in West Oz. That's awesome. Snow in Michigan. Oh, really? Sage green is lovely, Jenny. Yeah. Oh, is that true, Holly? Wow. I did not know that. All right, so I'm going to pop these bubbles. It 
gets a lot of people. <laughs> I should know. I love birdie beetles. So I just thought that L might have been an I. That's all right. Okay, so colander thingy. I think this is more of a steamer, but that's okay. Going to aim for straight in the middle. And can you see the white coming through those holes initially? Bum, bum, bum. I'm excited to try this. Something new. Um, inspired by, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, Molly's artistry. Oh, your name's Roberta. Nice. Well, welcome, Roberta. AKA Birdie Beetle. Alright, so here's our cup. And so we're going to swirl it in. So I'm just going to land straight in the middle first and then swirl it around. It's a bit blobby. Because I want all the colours throughout. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so now when you lift it up, you lift it up slowly. Looks like mint chocolate. That's perfect. Thanks for that, Holly. Now I'm hungry. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I do have some over there. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see how this goes. Drum roll, please. Do, 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 do. All right, and slowly up. It's suction to the bottom of it. Oh, there we go. That looks so pretty and I hope you can see some of that. Trying to hold it ever so still. I am shaking. Oh my gosh. I don't want to move. I'm scared to move. And I have nowhere to put it when I move it. Looking absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Totally amazing. Oh no. Well, okay. So from this very moment, that doesn't look anything like the kaleidoscope from Molly's artistry. <laughs> um, but this looks amazing. How is that? That is stunning. So now I have to find some way to put that so hopefully I don't destroy it at the same time. And all those pop bubbles just pop through as I placed it down. So still very pretty, but wow. Paint fawn, <laughs> that's right. Okay, oh, I'm so sad, but let's just see how it goes. Continue on, and you never know, I still might find the ideal type of colander one day. So we'll give it a torch. All right, so as we spread it out, we'll see what comes. There's lots of dragging lines. I'm assuming that's from drips that were still coming and it dragged when I moved it off. Take a pick. Yes. Oh, it's too late. I sort of already ruined it, but 
I can get screen captures from it. Sorry. Looks like a dandelion. Oh, well, there you go. What a beautiful thought, Braddy Patty. Okay, going to tilt. Just going to move you a slight bit back. And do my best to somewhat stay circular. This is like when you do a swirl technique. Whoa, I am so not circular. And <laughs> you're trying to spread it around without warping it. And tonight is not that night. So I think for now, we'll just cover the whole canvas. Bring it back to the center. There is a bit down this very bottom I would like to get off. There we go. So I know I just took off all that. Some of those amazing effects, not all of them, but some of them for sure. Hmm. Maybe without the white. That's possible. Loving it, Holly. Thank you. Perhaps. Oh, I just had another thought. Perhaps if I'd have raised it up a little, it would have had a little bit of room to fall through. Oh, but then it wouldn't have had that effect. Oh, I don't know. Things to try, things to try. So, while I keep searching and torching, okay. All right, well, I can't say, I have to be honest, and I can't say I'm in love with it. I'm not... I'm not mad at it, but it wasn't what I was aiming for. It looks a bit, a little bit chaotic, I think. You're loving it, Holly. I'm absolutely adoring the green and the brown with hints of gold. So let's see. There's a shimmer of gold there. A little bit disappointed, yeah. I knew that I didn't have the exact same type of colander. Um, and I didn't know how this would go, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It does look a bit like camouflage. Absolutely. Yep, cool. We love it. Thanks, Holly. Loving the colours. Yep, very camo. Nice. So is that... Do I add to it? Do I do a ribbon? Or do I leave it? Do I add some gold? No. Do I doodle on it? No. <laughs> I just feel like... There's something. I agree, Holly. Leave it. I know, Rhonda, and I couldn't find any. I've been searching and I found this metal. I do believe it's actually a steamer. Um, so I thought I'd give it, a sh give it a shot. So leave it. Okay. You like it, Jenny? Thank you. And you're welcome. Okay. Yeah. I know, I'm so tempted to play. A bit of sparkle, maybe. I got a no from mum, like. 
A bit of sparkle. You never listen to me anyway, so. <laughs> Let me just see what glitter I have. to look and all right okay diagonal slats oh that's a thought Jean a little bit okay I can't find my usual um, what are these called glitter box right now I have this bit of green it's not it is sparkly but it's not glitter it's kind of like uh, what they called it tinsel glitter and I have some glitter flakes. They're very chunky. Oh. Oh, that's interesting, Jean. Yeah? Well, happy pouring. I hope it turns out the way you'd like it to. Okay, they're a bit... Too orange, that's a bit too gold, I feel. Um, I can't, can't find a copper. Um, I do have silver. So I have opal chunky. And I have sterling silver. So maybe if I just do, this is fine glitter. So if I just do a poof over the top and just let it lightly sprinkle yeah I'll have to get onto Amazon Jean that sounds very interesting okay let's do this is so 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 fine okay so I've pinched some in my fingers little pile there and then okay maybe you'll see it land with the reflection oh oh my gosh <laughs> oh, seriously it totally just fell out of my hand and all in one pile so Dun, dun, dun. What on earth? <laughs> oh dear. So I have one big chunk pile of glitter. So I know. All right, so that makes me go. Let's go up even higher. Sprinkly all over in the far corners and all close corners and I'm thinking with that ah oh, I was going to Holly that's what I was actually planning but I had a oops Okay, so I'm just a party in the woods. Yes! Yes! The woodland creatures are having a party. They left some sparkle. 
so that you can find your way to join them on their happy day. How's that? Oh, the random things. Okay, now it it's a happy accident. You know, I heard have heard a lot of people say happy accident and mention Bob Ross and all that kind of stuff. Hi Sue, how you going? Um and I actually watched some Bob Ross acrylic painting videos. And he's absolutely amazing. And he does them so fast. And then you've got this absolutely thrilling landscape, mountains, sunsets. Oh, gosh. Stunning. Okay, so ah, back to the poor. I really want to do something else now. <laughs> because I kind of feel like I might as well. And fingers crossed I can find it and how about this? He is amazing. I was blown away. I hadn't heard of him before um, and I heard a lot of YouTube creators uh, reference reference him. Um, so I typed in Bob Ross and checked it out myself. So, going to use this hair pick and put some patterns in. I'm already 99% happier with that. <laughs> I feel like that was, oh yes, yes. Okay, a little bit more fun to be had. So I'm just going to pick different sides and take it from one side always to the other side. Low. <laughs> All right. Where now? That one, this one up here. Bit of a curve and here to the top. I am wiping it off in my rag in between each one. And Danny, I'm sorry, I don't know what that says. But thank you for coming in and watching. One here. All right, so one more there. And, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I am happy forked. Let's have a look. There we go. Now close up now, I'll just scoot along this, I'll be heading off after this, so thanks so much for everybody for stopping in to watch and saying hello, thanks Holly, I love it now, <laughs> it doesn't take much to go from oh no what have I done to wow I really like that now, so what do they say? Never give up. Do you like the fork marks? Yep, Brody Patty, so do I. I enjoy doing those and in resin as well. So, there we go. That's true, Grandma. Yeah. I think that would be a very outdoorsy environment for this one 
All right. Thanks, Jean. And Birdie Beetle, Rhonda, amazing. Thank you. Oh, cheers, Holly. Yes, <laughs> Jean, um, yes, absolutely. I don't know if you noticed, though. I broke off every other pick, if that's what I would say. You'll see. Because when there was all of them there and I did this effect, it really looked too busy. So there's a tip. That's my pro tip. Bust off every other pick in your comb. All right. Um, thanks so much for being here with me, everybody. I really appreciate it. It was a little bit of a journey. And yes, Becky, I will endeavor, I will keep searching for the right kind of colander to use. Absolutely. But that's what we've got. All right. Thanks so much. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment below for the replay. And thanks for being interactive and chatting with me throughout. And share it with others if you think they would also appreciate it. All right, everybody. Take care. And I will see you all again next time. All right. Bye. Be kind. Be creative. And be fabulous.